My name is Lucas Assis, I'm one of the developers behind the Gamer platform. This is part 3 of a series of tutorials on how to get the best out of the Gamer dev. Today's video will be including Binance as an exchange to your Gamer app and then enabling a live bot to run the configuration. So first, let's begin by going to Binance's website and creating an API key that can be used by the Gamer application. An API key is like a custom password to your account where Gamer can log in and trade for you by only using the Gear API key. Most exchanges allow the user to give custom permissions to this key. When that's the case, be sure to select Orders, Wallets, Margin Trading and Margin Funding. So, let's create our API key on Binance. After logging in, click on your near account and then go to API Settings here. I'm gonna hit Enable and it's gonna ask me for a name, so I'm just gonna type Gimmer Key. You can see here, API Key Created. Now, first thing, save the API, your API key and your secret key and make sure that no one else has access to this because anyone that can, that's, has access to both these keys can trade using your account. So I'm just going to save it on my password manager. And you can see here that we can actually change it to enable withdrawals, but Gimmer doesn't need that. So just, uh, just enable trading and read the info. So okay, let's go back to Gimmer. And let's include this exchange by going to Exchanges. And here you can see a list of all the available exchanges. I'm just gonna hit Binance. I'm gonna, the description, I'm gonna name it Main Account. The API key, just gonna copy it. And my secret key. And I'm gonna hit Setup. If everything has gone right, you'll be able to see your balance here. And this is my ju uh, this is just my test account, so you can see here my $32 for testing. And the API key here should be everything correct, so I'm just gonna hit save API. Now, we can get started up by creating a new bot. But before that, there is something that you need, uh, you need to make sure before using it. Here you can see my balance is 500 GMRs. And there's there are two ways to create a Gamer bot. There's the free way and the paid way. The free way, the which is the free bot, you can only trade up to $100. So if you have more than $100 worth of coins, the bot will stop, will stop trading and just stop working. But if you want to use the bot indefinitely, it's the model holds to use. To use the bot like that, you have to use you have to hold the coins in your wallet, which uh, and it's a custom value. Currently, it's 250 GMRs. So I have 500 and you can see here in use zero. So when I have a live bot running, it will be in use 250, but you just have to hold the coins. So be aware that this is not a per month fee, just hold the coins and the bot will just keep working. So I'm just gonna go with here in exchange trading. I'm gonna rename the bot to tutorial bot. And hit next. Hit I accept the terms and conditions and hit create bot. The first thing that we want to make sure is just I'm going to hit edit here and let's change the exchange. Let's go here to configuration and you can see here strategy settings. Let's change from the exchange from Bitfinex to Binance. So here we're going to have the API settings. We can change the API key. You can see here main account. And in the fund settings, I can change the fund type to all locating pairs. So you use all my funds on the pair that I'm going to trade here. So, okay. This is all that's needed to actually use Binance. Now I'm just gonna ch change some configurations on this bot to better to better suit my trading. So I'm just gonna go here to the strategy. I'm gonna change for the base from ETH to IOTA because I wanna trade an IOTA here. I'm gonna change to US dollars and a period of one hour. I'm gonna include an MACD with Gimmer settings in entry and out indicator. And just a uh, stop loss uh, 2%. Now I'm just going to go to the first day of May up into the today in July with 50 bitcoins and I can test uh, and I can back test this to make sure that we're, this is a good strategy. Okay. 
Okay, as you can see here, this is not the best configuration, but it's already awesome for me to run live. So okay, hit save, or else if you leave this window, you're gonna lose all your configurations. And as you can see here, if you click on running an activity, you could you could theoretically run your bot in a simulation, which would be, would basically run it live, but without connection to the exchange. So you could see what would happen if you you were running this bot live. But if you want to actually run this bot live, just edit the strategy and remove the simulation mode. So we can go back and just hit start and run the bot live. So now you just leave the application open and wait for the bot to trade. So I think that was it. I hope it was useful to you guys and I'll, I'll see you in the next tutorial.